What's up, what's up everybody? We have so much information today. There was a press conference, basically while I was asleep, I couldn't uh, actually get to watching the whole thing, getting my thoughts uh, on paper until now. Uh, this way I can give, give you guys a little video on it. It's like an hour and it's an hour and 32 minute press conference. I'm gonna try to condense it. I'm sorry if I make it a little bit long, but I'm gonna try to condense it as much as possible to give you guys all the important information as quickly as possible so that you have it in your brain or wherever else you store things. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, let's get started. Let's get right into the news. All right, so we've got, no, where did the thing go? Where did the thing go? Okay, shit's okay, shit's, shit's okay. Um, so here's, basically I'll, I'll, I'll show this while I'm talking about this stuff. I did take some clips from other things as well. Uh, Tartarus Labyrinth. That's what it's called. Tartarus Ra Labyrinth. I guess the boss's name is, uh, Tartarus. Also, YDCB did a video on this. He talked about some other stuff as well, but I'm gonna talk about some stuff he didn't talk about in his video, uh, as well. Because I'm gonna cover more things about the full labyrinth and not just the boss. So the full labyrinth, also there's a... Man, there's a Reddit post on it, too. Apparently there's like 150... It's not like... This is the full labyrinth. I'll show you guys here. This is the, the, not even the full labyrinth. This is like a small labyrinth. Apparently, there's up to 150 nodes, from what I understand in it, and it could be completely massive. Here we see, um, here we see only what five boss, six boss stages. One, two, the uh, the boss stages are the the big nodes, the big nodes that are like four times the size of the other ones. Where we see six, but they said it was uh, up to around ten of the boss nodes. So expect the actual labyrinth to be much, much, much bigger than this. Uh, all the different guild uh, guild members can attack a certain node of the labyrinth. Uh, the smaller nodes are going to be the regular stages. There are five different modes to the normal stages. Uh, one is a time limit where you have to clear as many stages as possible fast. Uh, the second one is a bomb that moves from unit to unit. Uh, actually, I have a picture of the bomb stage as well. Here we go. Uh, bomb stage picture here. There's another stage that is a rescue mode uh, as well here. So we can see uh, we can see some of those. Uh, there's said there's other ones. Stage with different challenges. Randomized speed cap. Uh, I'm taking this some of these notes from Reddit as well. I have my own and I have the Reddit ones as well. Uh, your skills have higher cooldowns on some of them. For the different skills challenges, then uh, there's no. They didn't say anything about what the fifth, uh, the fifth different mode was. So there's that to take in, into consideration. Uh, and the reason they balanced, a reason they, they balanced a lot of the units in this recent balance patch that they just did, were for this labyrinth because they're feel they're feeling like we might need some revivers. Revivers might be important in this uh, in this labyrinth. So take that into consideration that we think that like oh There's some random units that did this like no there might have actually been reasons for for this labyrinth content Why they why they buffed like maybe the drunken masters and the fans of these because I think the drunken masters might be actually pretty decent here uh, But anyway, we've got those then we also have Like the 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 save protect one. I'm thinking like this one right here. I'm thinking this might be an issue like if you try to Lucian this stage, right? If you try to Lucian Rosyros, like it takes one of your units and like you- I don't know if you can kill it or not, but take that into consideration if you try to AoE the stage, you might just fail. So, there is that as well. Uh, then we have the mid-bosses. So the mid-bosses, like I said, are the bigger nodes. We have a few different mid bosses. I'll show you guys the mid bosses here, and he's going to show you. He's going to show you a gameplay. Uh, the the YouTube clip is going to show you a gameplay of the the end boss. But I'm going to show you some uh, some things from the from the mid bosses. Leos, this is Leos, the water uh, mid boss, water guardian, I guess it is. Uh, freezes your team, ignores immunity and resistance. The skills are granted to him from the boss from the towers. These two things are towers. Everything has runes now. The bosses have runes. Which is crazy. Rune effects granted to the boss's weapon from the mid bosses. So you can choose to either defeat the towers so that he doesn't continue to get those rune effects from these towers, or you can go straight for the boss, different strategies, right? Um, what else do we have? Uh, ignores immunity. Like I said, ignores immunity and resistance. So bye bye Wusa, bye bye Veljul. <laughs> you can't. I'm thinking that. Units like the Water Lich and the Light Pumpkin and the Fire Monkey King might be strong in this if it's got AoE, uh, you know, stun. 
since they have passives, it's not oblivion, uh, oblivioning them. The end boss does oblivion, though. The end boss can oblivion. Uh, the end boss, let's check back on this guy. He's just doing some, he's clearing some waves here. So, uh, but we'll see, we'll see him on the, on the end boss as well. Uh, so, that's for, that's for the water one. The Kotos, this is the fire one. So Kotos has, uh, so, so the, ru the runes that the, the water one can potentially have are, uh, despair, I don't remember what, what else they said. Despair, focus, and then there were some other ones. The Kotos, the fire one, has potentially violent revenge, will, and rage. He's going to do big damage. He's supposed to be a big damage dealing one. Right, the water one's uh, the one that's kind of CCs him, and then the uh, the Gillies, the wind boss, he's got potential to have uh, destroy, shield, will, and rage, which are seems like they're strange ones. He's got some kind of healing and shielding and sustain mechanics as well. So those th those towers again can give his weapon special effects. So anyway, it's it's really interesting mechanics. I can't wait to see. Like more, I didn't really see too much uh, mid boss. There was really no mid boss gameplay in the press conference that they did today. But I can't wait to see all these different modes, especially like even the the regular nodes in gameplay. There's gonna be so much fun stuff to uh, to do to do videos on. So let's go back to uh, let's go back to this guy. Uh, let's talk about the end boss. End boss. Uh, final boss has a head and two arms, which all have runes. Violent. They can potentially be violent rage. Destroy, despair, or possibly more. Boss can violent proc, despair stun, destroy HP. A little scary, okay? Boss violent proccing. That's all we need. You just randomly die. So this is the boss actually that we can um, that we can see now. Kind of scary. Continually changes elements randomly as he uses all his skills. Light dark units might be extra viable here since he's going to change elements to between fire, water, and wind randomly. Uh, skills that reduce. I heard that there was a skill that reduces uh, units HP to one. I'm not sure if he sees it in this video specifically, but I think that things like Trevor or Ramagos on possibly Vampire Nemesis or something might be really useful. I guess we'll see. Because I mean, what else? What else would be great when the enemy's HP is one? They do more damage based on uh, based on their their lost HP. So. Might be something to bring bring out that dusty Trevor in storage. Uh, Comfort was trying to make it necessary to build revivers uh, for this guild content. That's why it was buffed in this last patch. I already mentioned that though. Uh, might see Drunken Masters, like I said already. Might see Drunken Masters being viable. Uh, so we can see some more gameplay. I'm also, I'm gonna, let me take a look at the, the Reddit thing. Let me just see if there's anything that I missed uh, as far as this. Bigger rooms can be actual mid-boss stages or trap rooms that becomes four normal rooms after you enter. Okay, interesting. I don't know anything about that. I must have missed that in the press conference, but it says here on uh, in the in the in the translation from here that they can potentially be the mid-bosses can potentially be trap rooms. So that's interesting. Um, they also have what is this? And it just says okay, I basically covered everything else though. I basically covered everything else, but I mean you could you could you could kind of see like the the different arms You can destroy the arms first. I think you have to destroy the arms before you destroy the head Yeah, the arms you have the uh, the 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 arm on the left is ruined with rage uh, violent and destroy Three fruit sets. Oh my god, that's exactly what we need bosses rage violent and destroy GG or oh, no, 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 I'm sorry the arm is the arm one arm is a rage this, the head is on violence and the destroys on the the right arm. So you see it's actually destroying some HP as well, which is kind of scary. Kind of scary. And after it does a certain amount, I think it's five attacks, it changes elements to a random different element. So it's just, it's, it's interesting new mechanics. I love new mechanics. All right, so what do we have? Uh, what do we have as far as rewards? Let's talk about, let's talk about some rewards. Uh, rewards we have. Let me show you guys. When we clear the, when we clear this, we get a box of each based on how fast you clear it. If you clear it very slow, you can get a C rank. If you clear it very fast, between all the guild members total, you get S rank. All right, so we got those rewards. From the rewards we have, we can get some different boxes here. Let's see this. Different boxes. So you can get runes, grindstones, or enchant gems as well from these, uh, from these different boxes. I'm just showing you guys different things from the different, uh, from the different things from, from, from earlier in the press conference as well. I'm just trying to get as much information as possible. Here's some different, uh, things that you can get from here. 
right from the from the because you get certain things when you when you clear each stage and then you get certain things when you clear like whenever the whole guild clears the entire labyrinth then you get a different kind of chest as well uh so we have those here boom boom you can see some more boss gameplay he switched to uh water now he still has the same runes on him but he switched to water and then we have this as well i want to show you guys these are the new the new uh Im immemorial grindstones and enchant gems so basically what happens with these is these are just flexible these can be used on anything you have like do you want to use it on a violent rune you can use it on a violent rune do you want to use it on despair rune you can use it on despair rune so it's basically like regular grinds and gemstones uh but you can use them for whatever you want from what i understand from what they were saying you can use them for whatever you want uh for whatever you want i'm hope uh, hopefully i give you guys as much information as possible and all the all the important meat and potatoes and everything uh, so they also mentioned, right, they said you co collect the rune grind of your choice. They want you to be able to, it's, they want it to be flexible so that, um, let me see. Oh, I didn't take a screen cap of that one, but they're showing the rewards where you can choose, like, you can choose one of three boxes. I showed, I showed these boxes as well, but when you can, when you complete stages, it'll say, okay, which one, it'll give you three choices for three different runes. So you can say like, oh, maybe you have Despair, you have Violent, you have uh, Will, do you want, which grind do you want? Do you want a Despair, uh, Violent, or Will, or, or, or Rune, or whatever. So it's flexible that you can get runes, you can get grindstones, and they actually said, they actually said, and I, from what, uh, from what I'm quoting the press conference, uh, they said, they upgraded the ones in the Labyrinth to be better than the ones in existing content. Better than the ones in it. I think that's pretty important to uh, to make a note of right there. Better than the ones in existing content. End of Labyrinth Rewards is based on how long it took to clear as a guild. And the number of boxes is based on your individual contribution. So, the quality level is based on your entire guild. If you have a really good guild, they clear it really fast. It's gonna get, you're gonna get a better, uh, you're gonna get a better box. If you contribute more, you will get more boxes, right? I think they said maximum, f don't quote me on this, but I think they said, might have said maximum of four boxes. I'm not positive. Uh, then we have, I already said the Im immemorial grindstones. Also, we have a new shop, which is exciting. Uh, there's new guild stuff as well. Boom, boom, hold on. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, new guild stuff. Two systems added to the guild system. There's going to be guild achievements. We mentioned a few of these things before as well. Guild achievements, the higher you- and what I said in the previous video, what I assumed it was going to be, like, your character, your units get stronger, kind of like flags and arena towers. The higher level your guild is, the stronger your units are going to be, the more stats they're going to have, the better they can do in PvP, uh, PvE, and- and it's just going to get- you are going to get faster clear times for dungeons and everything, you're going to get more damage out of your damage dealers, so the better your guild is, the better you will do as a player. So, for example, if you are like maybe a Fighter 3 player, if you join a really strong guild, then you're gonna be able to, you're gonna do a little bit more damage, you're gonna be a little bit more survivability, rather than being a, you know, maybe a C1 player in a noob guild. So, I think this was strategic. I think they did this specifically to make sure people were not just like high level players were joining poopy guilds. I think that was in that was the actual I feel like that might have been the game plan there. So, we'll see if that actually works, but I think that's definitely incentive for people to not do that for a guild siege anymore. So, it's interesting. It's interesting to see their their reaction to that stuff. So, you guys can see more stuff that's uh that's going on on the screen here. Uh let's see. I also want to show you guys this new guild magic shop right there. New magic shop for the guild. Everyone's everyone basically gets the same items shown, but everyone can get a chance to like if one guild member purchases an item, then the other guild members can still have that chance to purchase that same item. It doesn't like disappear from the guild shop when w someone buys it. Uh, they all have the same chances to get the same items. So it's still one of each is going to be available for everyone, and then you can use guild points to refresh the shop as well. So for some people that have a crazy amounts of guild points could uh, do your guildies a favor and refresh the shop and then you just get uh, I mean it's very very expensive for some of these gems and grinds but oh my god we can finally get violent gems and grinds that's crazy I mean, that's that's exciting enough as it is because you know for me specific for everyone not even just for me for everyone 
it's so hard to get uh, to get gems and grinds for all this stuff. And you can get pieces of I don't know which monsters are in the pool for pieces, but you can get pieces of monsters over here. I think I have a feeling they might do previous Hall of Heroes units, so newer players have access to previous Hall of Heroes units as well. So keep that in mind. I think that might be one of the things that they that they try to focus on doing. Uh, let's see. So so I wouldn't expect to see like galleons. Again, we'll go, he's, he's dead, he's dead GG. But I wouldn't expect to see like Galleon in here and stuff like that, but I would expect to see things that have been previously available. Try and make them available again to new players if they miss the Hall of Heroes or whatever. So, keep that in mind. Uh, guild Achievements, okay. We basically talked about that in like a little bit in this video and the other video before. It's just like Guild Achievements, you have just like regular achievements, right? Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? I'll refer back to the Reddit to see if I missed anything. I think we basically got everything. I think we basically got everything, but, uh... But that is... that is that. I feel like we should have had more... I feel like it was gonna take like an hour and 50 minutes, but then it would have taken longer than they actually did to do the thing. Anyway, guys, um... That's it for this. Let's see if we can skip ahead a little bit. And he beats it. When? When does he beat it? Also, a uh, thing to note that I thought I wrote that here. There's going to be different uh, difficulty levels as well. Oh, I did. I, I didn't say it. It's in the. It's in my notes, but I didn't say it for some reason. But yeah, there's different difficulty. So he's on normal difficulty, because you see his his uh, stuff is not really ruined too well. But he's on normal difficulty. There's other difficulties. I don't know how many different. Yeah, you can e actually even see it in the in the video here. He's on normal difficulty, but there's different levels of uh, of difficulty to to do. So anyway, we'll see. We'll see. I think you can choose. I think it showed earlier, uh, earlier even part that I chose that I that I was showing um, that you can choose the level of difficulty when you go into it as well. So, and it gives you a better rewards based on the difficulty that you choose when you enter into that node. So I think, I think all different guild members can play at their own level. And then they can still beat nodes, but you can, you can beat whatever node that you want. You can, if you're a, if you're a guild that's mixed with really strong players, uh, and, and, and some like mid game players or some early game players, then the early game players can choose the normal ones in the, in the, I, from what I understand, this is how this works. From what I, my understanding, uh, the early game players can choose the normal levels of difficulty, and then and they get like not they, they get like okay rewards, they get like decent rewards or or poop rewards, I don't know. And then the higher level players, the the stronger players, can get uh, can do the most difficult one of of whatever node. It doesn't it shouldn't matter which one like however you beat it. And then they just they just get more they get better rewards for choosing the higher difficulty of that node. And it really doesn't have any impact on the end result of clearing the whole labyrinth. So anyway, uh, those are those are my my thoughts on it. I hope I covered everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. I think I basically covered most of it. And I try to make it short if possible. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got something out of it. I'm very excited. Very, very, very excited. All these new game modes. Between the, the final boss, the mid boss, the new guild content, that the, the new guild, everything, everything. I'm, f I'm excited. It's been the, f I have been so long since I've been really legitimately excited about Summoner's War stuff. New content. Thank God. Thank God. Come to us. Finally, new content. That's actually I'm excited about. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it for this one. I will see you as always. I'll leave links in the uh, description if you want to see the uh, the stuff that I got this from. Um, like the, the, the link to the actual press conference, but I basically showed most of the, the most of the important stuff. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.